Hey YouTubers, um, another quick snowblower video. I know some of you are probably thinking, why the hell am I working on snowblowers? When, actually today it's kind of cold, it's only plus 7 out here. But still, why am I working on snowblowers in the spring? For one, I'm trying to get them finished and get ready for the winter. Just in case we do have a bad winter. Uh, that's the main reason why I bought that one, because you can actually buy snowblowers at this time of year really, really cheap, because people are getting rid of them. So uh, basically what this guy was doing, because this was his uh, extra snowblower, so that's why I was able to get this snowblower reasonably cheap. I'm going to tell you how much I paid for this. I paid $125 delivered, which I don't believe is a bad deal, considering it's just had tune-up done, had the spark plug, had oil, had everything was greased has uh, new skid shoes on the front so let, uh, you tell me you, uh, you tell me if that's a bad deal I don't really think it is especially considering this has the uh, big 10 horse coal or, or sorry big 10 horse Tecumseh on it but um, other than that um, talk about this thing here as you saw in my previous video I did find the engine that would work for this I didn't think that Honda had a uh, straight shaft on it. that's why right in the first place I did not put this Honda, Honda on this. I had kind of had a stupid redneck moment. I know the haters are going to say, oh, you are stupid no matter what, but um, let's ignore those comments anyways. So anyways, I did find that engine, and it will fit. I tried it last night. The bolt holes line up with the most forward uh, mounting holes on the uh, plate here. Let's go up to the engine. I'll show you a few more things. Uh, don't want to walk around too much in the dirt and wear my brand new shoes. Uh, I just picked them up yesterday, but uh, just, work, just breaking them in before I go to work tonight. Anyways, here's this Honda. It's a six horse, I believe, and the model on it is uh, G2000, G200. Okay, sorry about that. I had to answer the phone. But anyways, this engine runs. Um, the only real problem with it is the recoil actually has a Tecumseh 5 horse recoil on it because the guy I bought this engine off of um, said the original recoil had broke and he had this one laying around and it actually worked. Uh, he's modified it a little bit just to make it clear the bolt holes. I may have a recoil that will fit this. I actually have a couple of them. I actually got from the same guy uh, just last year when I bought those lawnmowers and a few other things. Uh, but anyways, if I can get a recoil on this, or I'll just fix that one, this engine will run, and all else, everything else I have to get, I have to just get a keyway and find a bolt to bolt that pulley on. As you can see, the back mounting plate's on there. It bolted on perfectly fine. This does have oil in it. Oil is actually okay still, but I will change it. But, um, other than that, that engine did run really well last time it did run. So it has an exhaust on it. Uh, remember a while back, uh, Donny Boy 73 was working on a similar engine on a generator, but it had a tapered shaft. That's why I thought this one had a tapered shaft after seeing that video, and I, I just basically didn't remember. It was sitting up on that shelf for a really, really long time. And I wish I would have grabbed it down a while ago when I was first looking for an engine for this. Because I could have had a snow, a small snowblower last year, but no big deal. So my idea is still to uh, fix this and potentially sell it. We pretty much decided we're keeping that one. Even my uh, stepdad says I should keep this one because I got it for such a good deal. And even the previous owner of this said I could probably sell it if it's going to be a harsh winter. I could probably sell this thing and make make three times my three times my investment basically basically make right around 400 because it is so big i'm going to be adding a light to it definitely um i could probably add up to two lights because it has those two wires coming off the stator i don't think there's really any point in mounting one to the front though probably just put one uh right up but just above the uh, john deere logo and that should be good I don't think I showed this in the video yesterday. This does spin. Nothing's stuck on here. And it works really well as well. 
my neighbor actually, his brother-in-law is actually looking for a snowblower. And I don't really want to sell this one to him because it even has a tire change, which is nice. But, um, yeah, basically this is one of the nicer ones I've seen because uh, there's some on Kijiji right now and they're just junky looking. They're just really, really junky looking. Um, and this one, it's been on there, it was on there all last winter and it's still on there now for, I think he wants like 300 bucks for it, 250 or 300 for it. I wouldn't give him no more than 100. And that, that's how bad a shape it looks in. And it's just really, really rough looking. Like this one is far past, far, far past is that one in all ways. This one's actually in a little bit better shape than that one. So I guess that's it for today. Oh, one more thing. I found a guy who will do some fabrication work. Because uh, I need some, some sort of a bracket made up for the Honda. So I can get those alternators mounted. So he does fab work. He's emailed me before on another ad I've had. And he emailed me again. I just say, oh, if I'm interested, if I need any work done. Uh, to let him know, but actually I might with this, but I'm, I gotta get alternators for it first, or to correct pulleys for the alternators first, so. So yeah, that's pretty much it, so I guess I'll talk to everyone later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, if anyone has any ideas, please let me know, and uh, please subscribe and comment.